All right. Good morning and happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. <laughs> I cannot hear you. Can you say that again? Um, let's go through our slides. Okay. You don't have coffee with you this morning? All right. So remember, we have um, those who listen to us at home. We're going to wait a minute because right now, Instagram is asking other people if they want to join, right? So good morning, Blue Sky Style One. Blue Sky Style One. Happy Saturday. How you doing? So we recently asked on our Instagram Live for for your um, feedback because every Saturday now we're doing Bolo Saturdays. Uh, mind you, we're an hour and 10 minutes late today because we just have a crazy morning. Um, sorry, but it will be recorded so you can watch a replay. Now, um, yeah, one of the requests was to do vacuums, right? So uh, where are you from, Blue Sky Style One? We are east of Los Angeles. And my name is Marina. I'm Michelle. And so, yeah, we do, we do daily lives on Instagram. And then it reposts on IGTV. And then we upload to our podcasts. Our podcast is the Flippin' Gals podcast on Apple Podcasts and Spotify Podcasts. So Blue Sky Style One says, I am in Miami. How's the weather in Miami? So anyway, um, Hustlin' Hooks, recent friends of ours that we uh, met online. We have a really awesome interview with them. If you want to check it out, it's on YouTube and our podcast. But they recommended that we um, do the vacuum cleaners for our Bolo Staro Day. Right? Just kidding. Bolo Saturday. <laughs> like there's a... There's a typo on our slides there. But um, so that's what we're gonna do. If you have any questions during the live, hit the question mark sticker. So last Saturday, what did we do our bolo on? Mugs. We did it on mugs. So if you haven't watched that one, check it out. Again, it's on IGTV, YouTube, and our podcast. And so what we're doing this week is we have a little bit of a challenge for all of you is try to, um, you know, after you listen to our, our short, our brief, uh, live on vacuums, Bolo vacuums, right? So Bolo stands for be on the lookout. These are items you can get a lot of profit from. We're going to ask you that this week, look for the vacuums on a daily basis in your local communities, whether it's on the Facebook marketplace, offer up or any other local uh, place that you can purchase the items. So what kind of items do you sell? Blue Sky Style one? That's a good question. What what kind of items do you sell and on which platforms are you selling? So after doing a little bit of research, um, it's quite fascinating to know that vacuums are actually expensive. Um, I In my mind, I think Dyson is expensive, but I guess it's not expensive. I think... It used to be maybe about six or six to eight years ago, and now it's just so affordable. I think they made too many. Yeah. So do you know any Bolo vacuum vacuums or vacuum cleaners? I think the vacuum cleaner, you mean carpet cleaner? Aren't they the same Vacuum thing? carpet cleaner? I thought vacuum cleaner is vacuum. No. Nope. Good morning, Dahlia Willow. Good morning. CO. Or good afternoon. Happy Saturday. Where are you joining us from? Oh, that, I don't know what I'm thinking. You're right. It's called a vacuum cleaner, huh? We just usually call it a vacuum. Yeah. So this brand is something that Hustling Hooks had recommended us to look for. Um, it's called Rainbow Vacuum, and this was sold for $2,500 on eBay. It's crazy. Why? I, I believe this is pro probably more professional kind of vacuum cleaner. Um, but Rainbow Vacuums are expensive, and they're bolos. Yeah, so again, thanks Hustle & Hooks for um, talking about these. You can follow their account. They're awesome, awesome couple doing amazing things and reselling. That's Hustle & underscore Hooks. And um, they kind of are telling us about the rainbow vacuums. And so good morning, Secret. Let's see here. Secret Reseller, happy good Saturday. Morning. Where are you joining us from? And Blue Sky Style One says Dyson is good. Um, yes, I agree. Dyson is really good. Dyson is really good. That's probably the best vacuum out there. But I would love to try a $2,500 vacuum. <laughs> Well, just pay attention. Um, I know those of you who are listening and not watching, you can't see the picture, 
but basically it's got the main unit and many extensions, right? So the unit is quite large. It reminds me of one of those um, dry, what are those things called that pick up the water? Dry vac, those vacuums, okay. Um, but anyway, it's like pretty big and there's a lot of extensions. So if you can get all of the extensions, it will make your um, item more valuable. Now the next item, the next brand is called Karcher Vacuum. I've never heard of this brand, but apparently it's um, very, very expensive. And I believe it's also another professional kind. It was sold for $2,450 and 50, 50, dollars on eBay. <laughs> And Blue Sky Style One said, Miel is also amazing. I've heard of that brand, yeah. I actually have never heard of it, so we're going to have to check it out. Thanks for telling us about it. All right, so number three. Um, this vacuum is a professional steam cleaner, um, which is kind of different, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. But anyway, it says this, um, this a professional steam cleaner is Aeolus, A-E-O-L-U-S. It's sold for... $2,026 on eBay. So all of these sales, we got them from eBay, just so you guys know. This vacuum looks like R2D2. <laughs> Good morning. Um, see here, pa Pale, sorry, Ale Boutique. Awesome, Pale Ale Boutique, love it. How you We're doing? We're talking about Bolo vacuum cleaners today. Good morning, celebrate your inner beauty. How you doing, happy Saturday. Yes, yeah, so we're talking about um, vacuum cleaners and really expensive vacuum cleaners that you can make a lot of profit off of. So number four, Michelle, I'll let you talk about it so I can pin the comment about what we're talking about. So this one is an iRobot Roomba. I think a lot of people have heard of Roomba S9 Plus. It was sold for $1,900. And um, Ro iRobot, is basically one of those where it just kind of like moves around your house and starts vacuuming um and yeah so i've never had one i've never used one i've never i've seen one um i and but i don't know if it's effective in terms of like suction power yeah no idea about it but i mean it's so expensive you would think it would be right so yeah. um so basically, this one sold for 1975 bucks, and um, the S9 Plus, I know, also has Wi-Fi capabilities. Yes. So, correct. you know, that could be part of it. Um, what I'm not sure about, though, is why did it sell for so much money when I think you could buy it for cheaper at the store? But you know what? Maybe they're out. That could be a reason. Or maybe it's a special edition. Or maybe it's a special cooped up edition. And the next one is also a rainbow brand, but it's another model. Um, this is a E2 vacuum, and it was sold for $1,900. Okay, and again, as you can tell, this one looks like it's brand new. It has the boxes with it. Um, okay, what does the rainbow look like? It's like a mini R2-D2, and then again, you um, connect all the different, um, what do you call it? Parts. Parts, that's right. So yeah, good morning. Good morning, good morning. How's everyone doing? Happy good Saturday. Good afternoon, if you're in the East Coast. Christy's Attic, Girl Power 3. How you guys doing? Where are you joining us from? Today's topic is Bolo Vacuums. So the next brand is LG Code Zero. Um, it's also wireless, so it's comparable to a Roomba. And, um, and it's... $1,800. It was sold for $1,800 on eBay. Chrissy Zadig said she's in Philadelphia. Very nice. Welcome. How's the weather over there? So I'm thinking, so the brand is LG. Everyone knows this brand, right? Awesome. So again, so expensive. It's wireless. So I think there's like a, a common, a common factor is wireless uh, vacuum cleaners are expensive. Um, so look, look for that one. And we're giving you guys homework this week and the homework is you know take note of the bolo vacuums and look for them look for them in your local um you know selling platforms right like facebook marketplace or offer up see if you could buy one a flip good morning astros 24341 bay now before you do buy them 
a recommendation is that you go on eBay and you see how many have sold, right? So you don't want to be stuck with an item that doesn't sell. You want to find items that there are a lot of um, sales, right? That people are actually buying. So uh, where are you joining us from Astros2434 on eBay? Perfect. And we're talking about items that we pulled from eBay there. Now, um, Christy's Attic said, the weather is beautiful. We just made it to a yellow and stores opened yesterday. However, we are on lockdown every night. Oh, are you guys on curfew? I know in Los Angeles, our curfew um, stopped. So they stopped doing curfew. Yeah. Out here. Um, okay. The Remember. next one is a power flight vacuum. This is a huge... I believe this is another professional vacuum. Um, it was sold for, it was it was listed as $1,700, but um, they accepted the offer of a mystery amount, but I believe it's still going to be an expensive vacuum. So in other words, when you look at sold items on eBay and you see a line through, then somebody accepted a best offer. eBay doesn't publish what that offer was. So like Michelle said, it's a mystery amount. Um, Astros2434 on eBay said SoCal, which part of SoCal? We're in SoCal. And Christy's Attic said yes, curfew. Okay. So I guess that gives you that. a lot of time to cook, play games, hang with the family, watch movies, right? And last but not least, number 10, Kirby Avalar 2 Vacuum sold for $1,794 on eBay. Again, a common factor, it has all the extensions, right? So those extensions are really important. Try to make sure that you can locate them if possible. Ranch Cucamonga is about 25 minutes from our home. So yeah, we're neighbors. We're neighbors. Uh, uh, welcome. So that's the thing. If you go to garage sales or estate sales or even thrift stores and you see some of these brands, you, they don't have to be complete. They could be just parts of the vacuum and you can sell those as parts for a good amount of money. Totally. That's a good point. So yes, you can like gather them together and make a set and, you know, sell it for over a thousand bucks. Or like Michelle said, the parts alone sell for a good amount of money. That's a different story. So who, who knew vacuum cleaners would be a bolo item? Right? So again, thanks Hustle and Hooks for the recommendation. We did have another recommendation to do games. So next week, our bolo is going to be all about games. Um, I'm thinking board games is board what games, we're going to do. Yeah. And so check this out. Michelle picks out a meme for our everyday lives. There's a person cleaning out a vacuum. Have you ever had to like turn your vacuum over and literally take out all that hair that's stuck in there and all that dust and it, you know? So the meme says, Deep thoughts of the day. When you clean out a vacuum cleaner, you become a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> I started laughing when I saw that because like, yeah, it's, you know, it's kind of gross in my opinion to do that, but I've done it. And um, what if you, you touch use everything. <laughs> what if you use a vacuum, another vacuum to clean the vacuum cleaner? Well, I've had to grab scissors, like in the picture, there's scissors, right? And you have to like cut through all that hair. I do that too. That's just, it's disgusting, but you do it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right, we guys. We learned a lot about vacuums today. Yeah. So thanks for joining us. Um, you know, this beautiful Saturday, Christy Zadig said, nice job. Yes. Got to buy the right one when you have furry children. Yep. <laughs> That's a good point. Watkins family, 1618. Happy Saturday. So again, guys, remember our goal this week, all right, is let's look at some Let's let's write down these bolos. One of the most popular and most expensive one is the rainbow brand, right? And so look for them in your neighborhoods. See if you could flip them and make some nice cash. Let us know how you did during the week um, or next Saturday. Also, don't forget to check out our bolo from last Saturday, which is all about mugs and maybe do a little research on that as well. And we will keep you guys posted on our research. So. Um, be safe, stay safe, um, go get them. The weekend's a great time to hustle. We're headed out right after this to pick up a bunch of items that we purchased um, at an estate sale yesterday. So you can check it out on our stories. Have a wonderful weekend. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Be safe.